I worked as a podium dancer at the Ministry of Sound. Uh, <laughs> you were a podium dancer at where, sorry? Yeah. At the Ministry of Sound. And what does that involve? I don't, don't say just dancing. I mean, what did you have to wear, for example? Uh, usually we'd get a, a, a phone call and, and they'd let us know if there was any colour theme. <laughs> and then at certain points in the evening, uh, w they would just gather up the, those of us who were employed to do it and put us on a podium to uh, get the crowd going. And, and what, what sort of tunes were you dancing to? This was early 90s, so, uh, you know, early 90s house music. What? Like what? Name one. Hello. Um, I, did I can't a... help you here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think the nature of that kind of music was that they were, they were relatively indistinct tunes designed to create an atmosphere across the entire evening. Well, that's a stroke But I mean, look, for, you know... <laughs> well, there is, there is an easy way to tell if, if he's telling the truth, oh, which, is, which is, would you like to show us? Uh, not Sandra. particularly. Well, come on, <laughs> sorry. I'm now a sort of moderately plump man in my mid-30s. It, it doesn't have quite the same impact. Oh, come on, what do you mean, moderately? <laughs> <laughs> when to when they find you? Their own people just sort of talent-spotted me. They talent-scouted you? Yeah. <laughs> Marcus, it was a, a part-time job. Now, what, yeah. what, what else were you doing? What other jobs were you doing at the time? I was working on an oil rig. Oh, cats. <laughs> I worked, I worked for nine months on an oil rig, doing four weeks on, and in the two weeks off, I would go and do... Uh, is this, like, this is like your own private flash dance. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's in that area, yeah. What were you yeah. doing on the... You were welding, and then you were dancing. <laughs> <laughs> flash dance is based on your life. <laughs> So what did your oil rig friend people, did you tell them what you were doing part-time? Yeah, I used to practice on the rig. You did not. <laughs> Rig, it's just a massive podium. Show <laughs> <laughs> me, what are you going to say? What do you think? Is he telling It's got a lot of I YMCA think... qualities, this. Really. <laughs> da, da, da. Come on, boys. <laughs> not, do, not, not only do I think this is true, I think this is the most dignified and wonderful way for Marcus to come out on television. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid, in a way, and unbelievable, that it could be true as a double bluff. But no, 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 a lie is a double buff, bluff and he's made it mad and he's thrown the oil rig thing in, which might be true to go with the lie. <laughs> Can I just say, I it's a of, lie. of the three series we've done so far, <laughs> I've never asked someone and at the end of it had less information than one of them. That's why you're the team captain <laughs> and I'm on the end now, getting quipped again by your boat. <laughs> you're like Radio 4 panel show bullies. So, I would say... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you that he's lying. Did you not see the dance move? Did you not see his crazy... I was going to say, I didn't believe any of this, but I think Jimmy's probably... Like, that was a move, wasn't it? So what are you going to go for, Lee? We'll say, we'll say it's true. OK, uh, Marcus, is it truth or is it a lie? It is, in fact... <laughs> true. Ah, <laughs> Jimmy Carr. It's true. Marcus did work as a podium dancer at the Ministry of Sound. Uh, the DJ's got a lot of requests from clubbers at the Ministry, mainly, can you get that big posh bloke off the podium? He's putting me off my ecstasy. 